Many of you understand the desperate situation America is in these days. If not, wake up and look around. If we don't change soon, the words of Thomas Jefferson will surely ensue, which is, we the people will wake up homeless on the continent our forefathers once conquered. Most Americans think it is already too late, even to the point of saying America is intractable, as in impossible to resolve. It may be, but the fight is not over. We hope not anyway. Conditions must change. Spending is out of control by our politicians, and they continue to make bad choices. <sighs> the financial trap the government leaped into started years ago as a sad result of our nation's leaders not understanding the basic rules of economics. Huh? If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Aww. It is a bit ironic that the wealthiest nation on earth can't afford its own bills. And to make matters worse, the government continues to put off the day of reckoning, passing it down to future generations. Basically, we have two paths, one of fiscal responsibility or the eventual collapse of our currency. It is that simple. History has already proven that to us. Government regulation is overbearing, and government corruptions are unchecked. It's a double hit. We know that in the last days, wicked men will rule and oppress the people. It has happened, and many of you are feeling its effects. Their newfound rules and regulations are self-serving and full of corruption. They have overstepped their bounds and are becoming a law unto themselves. Action is needed. It is predicted that before long, this nation will be on the verge of crumbling to pieces and tumbling to the ground. However, when the Constitution is on the brink of ruin, the true Americans, you know who you are, will be the staff upon which the nation shall lean and shall bear the Constitution away from the very verge of destruction. Once again, it comes down to two paths. We the people shrink and lose our freedoms, or we fight and remove all corrupt regulations, rules, taxes, and personnel who do not uphold the Constitution. So, how do we fight, we the people, the ones who have let things get out of control? It is decision time, and the line has been drawn. 2012 is going to be an election like no other, and it has come down to two choices, Obama versus Romney. Obama has failed and has done so miserably. He has a gift for speaking and implanting a desire in others, but lacks the wisdom, skills, and knowledge necessary to change the future of this country. The situation he stepped into was not an easy one. Obama is not a bad man, but despite his efforts, he has done the very thing this nation can't afford. His spending is out of control, and his regulations have strapped small business, banks, and corporations everywhere. He has made decisions and continues to make decisions that are not in our best interest. Gas prices are rising, inflation is accelerating, and jobs creation is stagnant. Despite what the manipulated numbers lead you to believe, America is not improving. In 2008, this country took a risk on electing President Obama. His message was excellent and he brought some hope to the American people but nobody could have foreseen the horrible changes that would be forced upon the people. It has to stop. Obama failed and must be retired. That leaves us with Mitt Romney. Americans have a good track record of electing the right president at the right time for the right situation. Who is Mitt Romney and is he the right man for the job? The 2012 race is not going to be easy. Obama has billions in campaign money and will not go down without a fight. Although Mitt may have some flaws, his strengths certainly outweigh them 10 to 1. Is Mitt Romney the right president for the right time? He is, and here's why. Never before has a nation so needed a God-fearing man. The founders of this great nation were God-fearing men and ruled by the principles of righteousness. We are one nation under God and always have been. Mitt is a Christian and lives by the principles of his faith. He is a devout member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Although many may say his religion is his weakness, research proves it is a great strength. The principles Mitt has been taught and lived by hold true to Christian principles. He doesn't just speak about them, he lives them, and his track record proves it. 
Theodore Roosevelt said, no man can be a good citizen who is not a good husband and a good father, who is not honest in his dealings with other men and women, faithful to his friends, and fearless in the presence of his foes, who has not got a sound heart, a sound mind, and a sound body. Mitt Romney fits this mold perfectly. He is a devoted husband, father, and grandfather. Without a doubt, Mitt Romney is honest, faithful, and fearless, which will help him lead the nation with a sound heart, mind, and body. Mitt is economically sound. We cannot expect to be led out of one of the biggest financial crises since the Great Depression without a great leader at the helm. President Obama lacks in this field. He does not have the experience, knowledge, or wisdom. That is just the way it is. Our future president has to cut spending quickly and get rid of all those regulations handcuffing this nation. If he doesn't, we will experience a collapse. Mitt Romney knows this and understands what it takes to run an economy. His business experience has given him knowledge and wisdom to make the correct decisions in the future. Mitt knows it is necessary to cut spending, and he is willing to do this even if some people get hurt in the process. Finally, the man who wishes to lead this country must be branded through and through with patriotism, dedication, and love for the American people. I think we can all agree that a person with a slogan, Believe in America, has all three. This is your call to action. We the people need to lead this nation and do better in choosing our leaders. No longer can we afford to sit back and allow government corruptions to place us into bondage. We better choose wisely because one day we may not have a choice. Mitt Romney, Believe in America.